Some people will say, my heart is hardened. I don't feel like I can have this strength to overcome my difficulties. And any time a hardship comes their way, they break down or they question or they stop praying or they start losing their faith. And so when they talk about the softening of the heart, a person might say, I'm not capable of changing. I'm not capable of having this newfound faith, increased Iman. I'm not capable of overcoming these hardships. And this is a test in and of itself. So somebody once said, this is like a few weeks ago. He said, brother, you can't expect me to change. This is how I am. You can't change an apple into an orange. Like why are you comparing yourself to a fruit? When you think about a human being and their personalities and how abstract you are, the refutation for this concept of I am born this way, which is throughout society now, born this way, the scholars over a thousand years ago already responded to this. So one of these scholars famously said, humans, some humans claim they cannot change. He said, look at the animals. You can take a bear and you can tame it. You can take a bird and you can train it. You can take a dog and train it to become a guide dog or a guard dog or a supporter or a friend. If you can train an animal and animals can change, then a human being with their great intellect and their status above the rest of the creation is also able to change. And this is merely an excuse that people have. The second thing you have to realize if you want to change is you have to be willing to take the medicine. Anytime somebody says, I want to do this, but they're starting with the excuses immediately. If you want to become better, you want to become stronger, you want to increase in your faith, you can always take that next step forward. But you have to be willing to put in the effort because you're not going to wake up one day and suddenly have an increased amount of faith. Something has to change with your actual actions. And number three, if you're trying to increase and improve, and you're trying to overcome your hardships, and you're trying to reconnect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember that you cannot please everyone around you. In our day and age, with the advent of technology and smartphones and social media, people are living double lives. And the problem is that people, every time they post things, many people will think twice. Will people be pleased with this status? Will people like this status? Nobody likes it in five minutes, status deleted. And what happens is they start posting only to please people. And if they post or say something that people are displeased with, they'll get rid of it. And the problem with this is that you're living your life for other people. You're living a mask. So remove the mask, live for the sake of Allah. If you want to move forward, then you have to be willing to be sincere in who you are. Don't live for other people. You have this one life, don't waste it on other people. And no matter what you do, and people here have experienced this in different ways, no matter what you've done, somebody will always criticize you. And if nobody's criticizing you, then something's wrong with what you're doing. One example of this. How many of you heard of the fictional character Juha? Okay, so Juha is a fictional character used in Arabic literature as a form of humor to teach a lesson. So Juha was riding out one day with his son. Juha is riding this donkey and his son is walking the donkey. And they pass by a group of people and these people start talking gossip and Juha hears them they said look at this father he's letting his son walk in the desert and he's riding the donkey so Juha hears this criticism what does he want to do he wants to please people so he stops he gets off the donkey he tells the son you ride the donkey instead they pass by a second group of people and these people are talking look at this horrible son his father is walking and he's riding the donkey what kind of son does that and they start gossiping. And Juha hears this. He wants to please these people. So what does he say? He says, let's both ride the donkey. Maybe people will stop talking about us. They're both riding the donkey. And what happens? They pass by a third group of people. And these people are like, look at these horrible human beings. They're both riding this poor animal. This weak animal. And they're talking. And Juha's upset. Why are people still displeased with me? So he stops after a while. And they both get off the donkey. He says, let's both walk. They walk by a group of people and these people are like, look at these fools. They have a donkey and neither one of them is riding. People will always talk and criticize. So what does Juha say? He tells his son, let's carry the donkey. They carry the donkey, they pass by a group of people and they just look at him and laugh. Like, are you guys seriously carrying a donkey in the middle of the desert? And the problem is when you live your life to only please other people, you're limiting your potential. You're limiting who you really are. You're limiting all the goals and objectives that will actually benefit you in this life and in the next life. And you're masking and limiting the potential you have to reconnect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't live your life for other people. 
However, always be open to criticism in regards to constructive advice. Always be open to growing. Always be willing to accept something in regards to your shortcomings. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu said, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on a person who shows me my flaws. Because you should always want to grow.